I recently reviewed the Hot C229, and this became my new favorite home stereo CD player. Can they impress me again? This is the Hot C105 portable CD player. I don't mind paying a premium price if it's got premium features. Let's take a look at this together. I will be the first to admit that I can get a little picky when it comes to user interface design. And when I pulled this out of the box, I thought, oh boy, I can hardly read those buttons. But once the power is going, simply touch any one of them and they will all light up. And you can hopefully see, it might be a little difficult to see, but uh, we have the power button and stop button up here. We have the equalizer, Bluetooth, uh, play pause, forward reverse, um, FM transmitter, and M. And let's talk about these in turn. The top button here is the only button that has long press, short press. The long press is for power on or off. The short press is track stop. We have the equalizer here. There's a five preset equalizer, or you can turn it off. We have a Bluetooth transmitter. This can transmit to your, your earbuds or a Bluetooth receiver. Cannot receive Bluetooth signals, and I don't know why you would want to anyway. Um, down here we have, well, we've got play, pause, uh, uh, track controls on either side of that. We have an FM transmitter. This will transmit the audio from the Hot C105 to one of five preset stations. So you'll have to find one that hopefully is clear in your area. We have the M. I don't know what the M stands for, but what it does is controls the repeat one track, repeat all tracks, shuffle play, or off. One thing that I should make clear is if the buttons are not lit, they do not perform the function of the button, but rather just activate all of the buttons and the screen. Say I wanted to change the setting of the equalizer. As you can see now, it's on base mode. If I select the button, it doesn't change it until I select it again, and then it goes into pop mode. As is common in portable CD players, there is a switch that will lock out all the controls on the front. In this case, the switch is on the bottom of the unit. So if your CD player suddenly becomes unresponsive, troubleshooting step number one, check this switch. The two remaining physical features are the door open button and the headphone jack. The C105 ships with these bundled earbuds, and I'll have to admit that at first glance I was not impressed because, well, for one thing, I'm not a fan of silicone tips, and that's your only option with these. In fact, you don't even get multiple sizes, so it's. I hope these fit. But as I looked a little closer, I noticed that it does have a braided cord, and it is tangle resistant. Normally, when I wear a set of wired earbuds, I will put it in my ear and then wrap the cord around back. With these, I couldn't do that. It just wouldn't fit. However, if I stuck it in my ear and just let it hang down, I got a good seal. And the bass was actually very satisfying. These are very bass heavy earbuds. If you don't already have a set of wired earbuds that you like, you could probably get by in these for quite some time. Personally, I think I would still install memory foam tips, but that's completely up to you. I tested the Bluetooth transmitter with both my earbuds and my receiver. Both of them worked fine. Uh, however, I noticed that the Bluetooth volume was lower on my earbuds than they were on wired headphones by a lot. I thought that was interesting. And also, if you plug headphones into the headphone jack, anything you had going to Bluetooth will instantly be disabled. I, that's, I don't, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just noting the behavior. Before I go any further, I would like to declare that I have not had any problems with the C105, but I do have some concerns. I know that it's mostly perception, but when a product is heavier, it feels like it's greater quality. The Hot C105 is all plastic construction, and it's very lightweight, which in my head makes me think that it might not hold up in the long term. When I open the door, it just kind of bounces, and it just doesn't seem like it should bounce. 
if you look at the product description on Amazon, they will list a bunch of features that simply do not exist. In fact, I thought they might have sent me the wrong CD player, but I went out to the manufacturer's website and I don't think they have a CD player that matches the description on Amazon. For one thing, the Amazon description says that this has an FM radio with 36 presets. It does not. It has an FM transmitter with five different stations that you can use, but there's no receiver here. Secondly, the Amazon description says that there is an eight gigabyte TF card. There is no slot for a TF card on the C105. The Amazon description lists U-Drive support. The only USB port on this is a USB-C charging port. Uh, as far as I know, the U-Drive is only the old style USB-A port. Uh, I could be wrong with that, and I don't have a USB-C U-Drive to try that, but I, I just, I'm, I suspect that that doesn't work. There is also no auxiliary input, pedometer, or voice recorder, so the product description is basically a pack of lies. The C105 has an 18 milliamp hour battery that will give you 8 to 10 hours of playback on a 3 to 4 hour charge. One last feature I wanted to mention was support for recordable CD formats full of MP3s and WMA files. Now, if you do use those, you can put this on shuffle play mode and probably have a CD that lasts longer than the battery. I'm not sure how to rate this. If I compare the features delivered to the features promised on the product description, uh, uh, this would not do well. If I compare the features delivered to the features listed on the manufacturer's website, then we're talking a, a little stronger case. I wouldn't call this a bare bones CD player. It does have some nice features, including these lighted buttons and nice display. But most of the features delivered are table stakes, one exception being the FM transmitter. If you have a car that does not have a Bluetooth receiver or a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, then FM transmitter would be your only option. I don't want to oversell these earbuds, but they are a step above the usual bundled pair. I would call this a premium feature. The battery life is average and the anti-skip protection, while appreciated, could use a larger buffer. I'm going to say this is a four out of five product. Thanks for stopping by. Psst. Now that the others have gone, just go out and get anything by Klim. It's going to be better. K-L-I-M. Check out my other reviews.